thank you all so much for tuning back into the channel. Starting this vlog here in North Carolina, I'm actually heading north on I-85, heading towards Kannapolis to meet up with a buddy, Josh Cook, and his 900 horsepower Gen 2 Coyote, which looks like an absolute animal. That's why I figured I'd wake up at eight o'clock and head towards Kannapolis and just, you know, see what the car is about, check out his build, and ultimately just have some fun. But before I do, I actually have a message to share with you all. So I did some thinking and I finally came to a conclusion and that's why I'm making a spin-off channel of Derek Brand Productions and it's called Dose of DBP. And on this channel, you're gonna get one video a week every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. If I end up making a fitness vlog and I absolutely know it is not intended for the audience on Derek Brand Productions, if it's car related and I just don't think it's gonna make the cut for Derek Brand Productions, I'm gonna make an absolute banger out of it and I'm gonna drop it on Dose of DBP. We have our first video dropping this Wednesday so if you would click the card that just popped up go to Dosa DVP subscribe my main goal with this channel is to truthfully get it to a hundred thousand subscribers within a year I have a lot of stuff that I love to do within life and I would love to film it and showcase it and share it with you all and get ready guys this is gonna be a fun little chapter that I'm so excited to tackle Does the C5 want to play we just pulled up uh, to Josh's house you might be able to see it but there's like a blue 50 right there. For some reason, when I looked on his Facebook, I thought it was white. I don't know if it's wrapped, which very well could be the case. But um, yeah, that's what I was expecting. Hey, what's up, man? How you doing? Good. Nice place you got here. Yeah. What's going on? I was expecting. Oh, you got two? I have two. Oh damn! I was sitting there saying, I was like, I think he may have wrapped the white one. No. Check this out. This is my wife. I see you convinced your wife to get a Mustang and not a Corvette. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been sure. trying, man. I'm like, come on, GT350, <laughs> something. Now this is old girl right here though, huh? Yeah. Damn, she looks good. Yeah. She looks very good. In the process of adding an ice tank, I've got a BMP ice tank right now. Okay, the keep those tank. IATs nice and low. Yeah, I uh, usually have issues with that. Take over, so. We're gonna do more of an in-depth review on this, guys. I just came over to meet him, and we're gonna go grab some E85 and stuff. But what blue is this? Uh, lightning. lightning blue. Okay, this is this is nice. I like this too. This color is gorgeous in person. You get a nice size garage here. Yeah, I'm gonna put a lift in too. I just gotta get the garage for. Uh, yeah. Wow, yeah, that's a lot of space in here. So yeah, plans are we're gonna go grab some E85. I gotta get E in Hades and obviously in this beast. And then we're actually gonna head over to Carolina Speedworks. It's a performance shop here in the area that works on a lot of Mustangs. So we're gonna check that out for the first time. And don't worry, we're gonna hop in this thing. We're gonna go rip it. We're gonna go feel it uh, because what? You said this thing's making like 900 uh, wheel? Yeah, close to a 900 wheel. Jeez, oh yeah. Definitely looking forward to that. And if you guys are, drop a like on this video right now, but we're gonna go grab some E85. <laughs> Oh yeah, she looks good, boys. That thing looks freaking menacing as hell. I love the welds on it. actually crazy because I thought North Carolina, South Carolina would have had a lot more stations to choose from when it comes to E85, but believe it or not, there are very, very few, which is kind of weird. Good thing is, it's about 30 cents cheaper here, so can't really complain about that. Gassing this beast up too. Corning it up. Oh, he did bring a jug. I don't know if you guys could really hear from the rollers, but this thing sounds insane. We haven't even fully ripped on it yet, so I'm really looking forward to that. We're 
pulling up to Carolina Speedworks now. We're gonna check out this shop. Again, I haven't been over here before, but from what I've been told, they do a lot of Mustang work. So, should be pretty exciting to see what they got. See a couple new edges over there. Fox body, got S197. So we got Crown Vic. Yeah, that's a nice shop. This thing's huge. Oh, look at you, slipping on vlog. Oh, <laughs> I got some cars over here. Hey, look, it's Hades. Looks like with no motor. I think it's about that time. We go and dive into Josh's 900 horsepower Whippled Gen 2 and, you know, just let him take the stage. And Josh, how you liking this thing, man? Oh, I love it, man. Uh, I've had it for five years now. Um, 2.9 Whipple, oil pump gears, uh, stainless works uh, headers. Corsa exhaust, Watson racing cage. Got the Recaros too. Recaros, GT350 steering wheel. And you want to go ahead and tell them the crazy part. I've been, you know, talking about it all day today. It is a stock MT82, <laughs> stock with a RXT. Making how much? Not close to 900. Damn near 900 wheel. Yeah. So it's actually amazing to me. 900 horsepower in that MT82 is pretty impressive. I'm not gonna lie. The engine bay here is just gorgeous. I love how he has the coil covers all custom hydro dipped, and then you got the Carolina Speedworks, where exactly where we're at. They, I guess they have their own little plaques there. That looks sick. Even just a like a Gen 3 setup. Uh, it's on a 3.375 pulley. Uh, it's a grip tech pulley, so no belt slippage. VMP. That's their plug and play. That's their first plug and play system. I think now they use uh, Deech Works. Uh, but this system is actually, it uses Four Innovations parts and stuff. So it's got a Four Innovations hat. It's actually the hat. same one I have. Yep, Four Innovations hat, uh, air motor uh, regulator, and Four Innovations yep. uh, fuel filter. Same fuel system as Blucifer. Yeah. MGW shifter. And you said you just got these welds yep. put on, right? Yeah, I just got the welds put on. They're pretty new. I had build specialties on there, but I just kind of want to change it up. I set it up how I wanted it to begin with and tried not to cheap out on parts and stuff. So. Just do it right the first time and not have to do it over and over and over again. What would you say future plans are for this car? Are you kind of just going to enjoy it the way it sits? Uh, You're going to push power? I'm going to enjoy it until that MT82 breaks. And then if that breaks, we'll, uh, I'll probably put a 6R80 in it. Maybe okay, a auto life, huh? Yeah. I, I want to actually stretch it out a little bit, maybe build the engine. Um, but right now, I've just been kind of enjoying it how it is. Um, yeah. It's a fun car. I do street car takeover every year when they come to Charlotte, so it's, oh, hell yeah. it's a fun time. When you say 6R80, are you gonna miss the MT82 or do you, is your wife's car an MT82? MT, my wife's car is an MT82 too, so. So it works out perfect. Yep, so if you nice. wanna get your manual fix, you got yep, your wife's car. Exactly. That's exactly why I went 10 speed, cause you know, obviously no Blucifer's MT82, so it's yeah. best of both worlds. But yeah, 6R80 in this thing, making 900, the way it would be, that it would scream. So we're actually gonna hop inside Josh's whippled car here and we're gonna go for a little ride he just filled up on e so she's ready to rock and i'm quite curious to see how this thing hits it is an mt82 car i've driven uh whippled gen 2 before actually sebastian if you're watching this video shout out you and sebastian's car was actually white as well so kind of a coincidence there but um it wasn't making 900 that's for sure i want to say sebastian's was like 7 750 on uh, 93 so this is going to be a little more rowdy about 150 wheel more and um yeah Time to party. Let's go take a little ride real quick. All right. Oh. That's really it sucks. <sighs> and you said this is a, a Bolton cage, right? Yeah, Bolton. Hell yeah, it okay. looks good. Setup's clean. Got a little fire extinguisher right yeah, there. GoPro mount up there. Yeah, the look at you're ready to rock. Let's go ahead and rip on this thing. Drop a like up on this video right now, and we're gonna we're gonna let her eat. Oh, she sounds sick. She's torquey. <laughs> First little rip. See how she feels. <laughs> she was squatting. <laughs> oh yeah, she feels so linear. Really reminds me of Lucifer and I, God man, I miss driving that car so much. Feels great. Sounds even better. Yeah. I 
I definitely feel like you were hazing them pretty good. <laughs> I just felt that rear end just, rear end was all over. That thing's quick. more so we might be able to hook a little bit better it was hazing them well you hit it in second right yeah second, second into third it was a little sketchy just from my ass feeling you guys probably can't tell because of the stabilizer on the GoPro but she was getting down gets down uh, she she's she's quick <laughs> she is fast I, I want to ride in it when you do like the second stage of this car yeah you know more power if you do the 6r80 that is going to be a riot oh god sure. that's gonna be insane that's gonna be insane but hey this was fun this was really fun I was just telling him I don't remember the last time I was in a boosted coyote making this much power that is um, yeah no not 900 definitely I, I can't recall the last one so it's definitely fun we're actually making a quick little detour before we head back towards my mom's and we're gonna meet up with our, our boy Damien. You guys have seen Damien on the channel years ago, probably like five years ago now. So ever since he came down the Richmond with his three valve at the time, we've been friends and he was only like 15 minutes away from this shop. So go see what he's up to, check out his house and probably go grab some lunch. What up, mother trucker? What's up? Long time no see. I know it. You want me to park it right here? Oh, let's trigger everybody. <laughs> he can get it up in here. I probably but could, but... You got to hit it at a harsh angle. Yeah, Bruce that's has for got sure. his car up in here, too. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's extremely close, but if you hit it at the right angle, you're good. <laughs> that's what they all say, right? Uh, that's right. <laughs> Right, guys so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up today's video here i just want to thank you all so much for tuning in um we do have more charlotte content on the way i hung out with mom a little bit while i was there but we did film so make sure you tune in wednesday uh not only for the first video on dose of dbp please 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 guys go run it up go subscribe we're gonna be literally filming everything and anything i'm gonna touch stuff as like a human not just a freaking car guy so uh, i highly recommend going to subscribe to that channel and every week there's going to be one fresh video and it's going to be you guys uh pretty much guiding where that channel goes um whatever you want to see and i'll take you know recommendations and we're going to film it so go subscribe to dosa dbp let's get to 500 subs right now i know you're watching this i know you guys watch all other channels you guys are savages thank you all so much drop a like up on this video we'll catch you two videos wednesday 7 p.m on dosa dbp 8 p.m here on derek Man productions but until next time guys much love peace